previously on Rogue Life. Uh, Lore, what exactly happened between you and this guy? I... I was fighting. Feeling like a badass. Then this thing with an eye patch flew up. The world froze. I felt like my soul itself was cracking. I knew that I'd never leave, and more than that, it's like pieces of me are scattered across multiple universes. No! It can't be! You don't know what you're unleashing if you keep this up. We need to talk, Benjamin. Here's what I don't understand, James. From what I can tell, you've always been a company man. Stood up for the business, well respected. Why would you do what you did? Especially the day before the press conference. I did not act in any way that would tarnish the reputation of my employer or Mr. Newsom directly. That said, I could not stand by and let things play out the way that they were going. I had to do something. And tell me, James, what would have happened? Seriously, I feel like I just got to sleep. Hey, Mr. Bowers, time to get up. We need to leave in the next 10 minutes to get to headquarters on time. Yeah, I'm working on it. Just give me a minute. In business news, the tech industry is abuzz as Rencore, the brainchild of Richard Newsom, is set with a presentation later this month that it claims will shatter reality as we know it. What the hell? That's right, John. I'm standing here outside of Rencore's headquarters in San Jose, where, earlier this morning, one of their executive VPs made quite the claim. On the 13th of August, Rencore will be unveiling its newest product. This will be an unprecedented event, the likes of which the world has never seen. Every industry will need to fundamentally change the way that they do business. This, truly, is something that will shatter reality as we know it. The company has refused any further statement, asking for the public to wait until the presentation. The public is divided on this news. Man, it's all smoke and mirrors. These businesses are always trying to distract us from what's truly important. I'm all for advances in technology. Everyone always thinks that their product is what will change how we think. But they are always wrong. Remember Google Glass? I'm sorry, who said what now? I don't care about none of that There has been some speculation that the product in question is medical in nature, but Rencor has been known to skirt around FDA requirements in the past. I would recommend that you give this time before judging the possibilities. In downtown San Jose, I'm Janice Walsh. Thanks, Janice. In other news, do you think that a raven can speak like a parrot? According to this Sacramento man, they can. What are they thinking? Seriously? Mr. Bowers... We need to leave as soon as possible. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm assuming that you'd rather that I wear pants, right? Ah, hey, Darren, right? Come on. Of course. Oh man, I'm glad that you guys spring for the fancy hotel. I mean, this place is nice. I think we could stop by the restaurant and grab some breakfast on the way out. No. Jeez, okay. I think I have a neutral grain bar in my backpack. That'll have to do. So, Darren, how long have you been a hired goon for Rencourt? Private security. And eight years. Cool. Cool. (sighs) Cool, cool, cool. Uh, 
That's about when I started at reset button. Do you play video games? No. Well, you really should. There are several studies that show the benefits to hand-eye coordination. You see, about a year ago, the New York Times ran an article that claimed, What is going on out here? No, no, seriously. It was about 20 feet across and it flew across the lobby. No, she's not lying. I swear, it was an actual dragon. I am not staying at a hotel with a dragon. No, 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 no. You must be mistaken. Maybe you saw a bird or something. I know what I saw. And that, that thing was not a bird. It was not real. A, 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 a dragon? Let's get to the car, Mr. Bowers. Have you ever played one of those video games where every time you die, you start the game over with everything completely changed? Like the enemies, maps, weapons, abilities, everything is different. Well, that's my life. My name is Benjamin Bowers, but you can just call me Benny. Like most people, it's not like I hate my job. Work is easy, it's, it's fun, it's inoffensive. You know, sometimes it's nice to talk to coworkers, but I'd rather just be at home, not talking to anyone curled up with a good book. Rogue Life, episode 16, Back to Work. Holy crap! Darren, you've got to see this! The Hotel Dragon is popping up everywhere on TikTok. It's completely taken over my For You page. Must be a hoax. Oh, we must have just missed it! Oh man, why did I have to brush my teeth? I could have just, like, popped a mint or something. Dental hygiene is important. Shame that only one person caught it on video. And then it, like, disappeared into some weird glitchy purple fuzz! Like I said. A hoax. No, 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 no. I've seen hoaxes. Plus, those people in that lobby were freaked out. People were freaked out about the Giblin footage of Bigfoot, and that was a hoax. Wait, are you a Bigfoot hunter guy? Oh, you totally are. No. But just look, look at this dragon. If it was a hoax, then they'd probably make it look like something from pop culture, but this... This thing is different, like none of the standard horns or bat-like wings. This is not a D&D &D dragon. Heck, it looks like it even has feathers. Then the hotel concierge was right. A bird. A bird does not light itself on fire mid-flight, Darren. What about a phoenix? See? I knew it! I knew that you were a secret cryptozoologist. Please just let me drive with a little bit of silence. But, but, but this is all crazy! Are, are we sure that I'm not back in Valhalla right now? You are in San Jose. Plain Jane, San Jose. Watching TikTok videos of a hoax perpetrated in your hotel in a car with a driver who just wants a minute of silence to himself. Oh, well, wait, what if... The, this dragon is a part of the big announcement that Raincore is making this month. They are releasing benevolent dragons into the world to help mankind and protect us from danger. I'm hoping for more Aragon and less Reign of Fire here. Ugh, reporters. Come on, let us through. Remember, once we get in the building, we have to check in right away with your friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I can't wait to get Janet's take on this whole dragon thing and find out what's going on with this press conference. She'll probably be like, oh my gosh, really? And do that cute thing where she crinkles her nose. <laughs> Whoa, a little warning next time. Listen to me. You are here for one reason. Save our CEO. Don't get distracted. You don't need small talk. You don't need to flirt with people. You just need to work. Okay, sheesh. I get it. Straight to the point. Stay on target. Get things done. Save Richard Newsom. We haven't been able to enter back in with anyone that we've tried yet. And and you guys won't even show us where Mr. Newsom is, nor will you let us see what his feed is. Figure it out. We're tired of you wasting everyone's time. Okay, okay, okay.
Benny, Benny, over here. Uh, don't worry, Darren. I got him from here. I don't think so, Jen. Protocol says that I uh, need to... Protocol. Like how you were following protocol the other day when I found you in the supply closet with... Fine. Take him. I'm tired of his chatter anyway. Thanks. Benny, with me, please. Oh my gosh. Did you see that dragon thing? It was in your hotel, right? Uh, apparently, I just missed it. And then Gerald stick up butt rushed me out of the door before I could talk to anyone about it. Seriously? That guy needs some Xanax. So, what did he do in the supply closet? I don't know. But he seems like the type of guy to do things in a supply closet. Yeah, yeah, probably. What, whatever that's supposed to mean. <clears throat> so, the dragon. Real or hoax? Real. 100%. Do you think it's related to Valhalla? I don't know. Maybe. I've watched thousands of hours of footage from Valhalla residents, and never before did I see a dragon. I was hoping that you had. So, what's this press conference about? No idea. But Darnell has been in constant meetings with James and members of the board almost nonstop for the last week. They both seemed exceptionally irritable. Well, how can you even tell with Mr. Peterson? I mean, that guy has the emotional range of a pet rock. Trust me, I can tell. He's been over-enunciating. He is sure to hit all his plosives with proper aplomb. <laughs> Jen, you are a hoot! Hey, guys. Hey, Janet. So I came up with an idea last night. I think I know why we can't get back into Valhalla. Oh? Yeah, so obviously you and I have tried to go into basically everyone's dream world, and none of it is working, right? Of course. Well, what if we need James to go along with us? Yeah, I don't think that'll fly, Janet. He has clearly made himself aggressively unavailable to us. Are we just going to have to keep growing our band of merry men with everyone we save, and then have to babysit an entire army by the time we get out? Maybe. And what is the deal with Lauren? She kept talking about how she was in a million places at once. Oh, that reminds me. Add everything everywhere all at once to your watch cue, Benny. Probably the most banger thing that you've missed while you were in Valhalla. We already watched it. Wait, we? Oh my god. Not like that. Sheesh. Drop it, Jen. Hey, Janet, do you know what this product announcement is that I saw on TV? Darnell never tells me anything, and he keeps trying to shuffle me out the door at every opportunity. What is with that Darnell guy anyway? He seems pretty... vicious. Yeah, he can come across that way. They call him the Legal Reaper. Probably not because he's a nice guy, but he honestly does mean well. He took a pay cut last year to avoid having to lay off members of his team. No idea what the announcement is about, but I wouldn't expect too much horror to come out of it. I mean, it's nefarious though, right? Feels like an evil corporation making an announcement for world domination. I don't think so. More just corporate positioning trying to seem relevant in the marketplace. They do something like that every five years or so. Yeah, but they didn't have Valhalla five years ago. True, but I wouldn't stress about it too much. We have our hands full as it is. Doing what exactly? We can't get back in and the 30 second loops we monitor don't exactly have anything life changing. Mm, it might help if we actually had access to all of the feeds. What do you mean? Well, you know, Mr. Newsom. Rick? I thought his was the one with the waterfall. Um, well... Uh, Jen, what are you talking about? Um... I, I, I've said too much. My mom always told me that my motor mouth could get me fired. Jen? Forget it! Jen! <sighs> Fine! Sheesh. <sighs> okay, look, I wasn't supposed to say anything. That footage just isn't real. What? Okay, okay, okay. Darnell may have given me an order to create a loop for Mr. Newsom's last vacation. What? Why? Where's his real footage? Well, that's just the thing. I couldn't find it. 
I'm connected directly to Valhalla, and Mr. Newsom is nowhere to be found. What do you mean? It's just... Uh, there's nothing there. It's like he was never in there to begin with. Just... Uh, gone. Jen? Where is Rick's body? Why isn't it with everyone else? I don't know. Were you there when he went in the first time? He should be in the same place. I doubt that they'd risk his safety moving him. No. I wasn't there. I just got a call from James at like two in the morning one day to say that he went in. Are we sure that he was ever even in there in the first place? I don't know. Then we need to talk to someone who does. We need to talk to James. Yes, of course, Mr. Johnson. I understand the implications of the event. One moment, sir. I am sorry, but I am not accepting visitors at this time. Oh, come on, Mr. Peterson. We just need to catch up. Mr. Johnson, I'm afraid I will need to call you back. Yes, sir. Goodbye, sir. Mr. Johnson, huh? So, how is Darnell doing? This will need to be quick, Mr. Bowers. I am a very busy man. Hi, James. I'm here, too. Of course, Miss Blake. So, you know how we kind of risked life and limb to save your butt? All while singing, which is not my favorite thing to do, by the way. And got you back out of Valhalla, even though it's your fault that the two of us were ever even in there to begin with. Must you dangle your participles, Mr. Bowers? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Look, I'm happy to help you all out here. It's been invigorating, but you have to be honest about what is going on. Again, your participles, Mr. Bowers. Huh? James, you can't expect us to solve a puzzle while holding back some of the pieces. What really happened with Mr. Newsom? Oh, that. That was not what I expected you to ask about. Huh. Now who's dangling participles? What in the Sam hell is a participle? Never you mind. Mr. Newsom's situation is unclear. What do you mean? I never once meant to deceive you. Despite having his tumor, Mr. Newsom never indicated a desire to enter Valhalla himself. It was a shock to me when his wife found him floating over his bed. There is no Dana. Only Zul. Huh? Huh? Right, guys? Huh? Uh, never mind. Valhalla was never moved to his house. As far as I know, it was only in the cave in the warehouse. Correct. What is more strange, however, is that he never had a feed of his own in Valhalla. We were unsure that he was inside the system at all until we started to see him show up in... Well... Your feed, Mr. Bowers. Yeah, what can I say? Rick loves me. We were desperate to find him, and knew that he must have somehow entered Valhalla. Your memory may still be fuzzy, Mr. Bowers, but that was the reason you were hired. Miss Larkin insisted that you may be able to hack the system. She said that, and I quote, My lousy ex is great at this video game shit. Well, I succeeded, right? Hardly. Mr. Newsom is still lost in the system. What about his body? Where is it? You didn't think we would want to try to get into his subconscious? It, it is still at his home, though. Considering he's not registered in Valhalla's system, we do not believe that it will be successful. Well, maybe you are meant to save him next. Did you ever think about that? I can see about getting you permission to enter his home and try to help, though I do not believe Mr. Johnson will allow it to happen. Well, that's why we go all ninja about it, James. You may try to go ninja but I cannot lend my help if you do. Well, then we're at an impasse, James. That's the other thing we need to talk to you about. We think that you need to go with us this time. Rogue Life is written by Brady Flanagan, directed and edited by Brady Flanagan, assistant directed by Anthony Lovato, original music by Brady Flanagan and Willis Kramer, piano by Jill Flanagan, recorded at Two Rough Edges Studios, starring Ali Arbuckle, Amanda Flanagan, Anthony Lovato, Blake Haywood, Bob Bador, Brady Flanagan, Brooklyn Kohler, Brooks Bador, 
Casey Wayman, Dan Harvey, Jake Herrenberg, Jason Wild, Jim Dixon, John Crowder, Caitlin Johnson, Kevin Buckner, Melinda Yeaman, Melissa Head, Michelle Gardner, Richard Head, Rio Lefever, Robert Neal, Rusty Bringhurst, Truman Barnes, narrated by Blake Haywood, art by Blake Haywood, production manager Melissa Head. Next time on Rogue Life, it's time to face down an apocalypse cult in episode 17, Culture Shock. <laughs>